How can you stop a cyber attack if you're too slow to tell the team about it? That's where TLP, or Traffic Light Protocol, comes into play. What is TLP? What the periodic table is to chemists, Traffic Light Protocol is to cybersecurity professionals. TLP was developed by the Forum of Incident Response and Security Teams, also called FIRST, and introduced to address the need for a standardized approach to categorizing and sharing info about cybersecurity attacks. The example of e-commerce. Hackers target big and small e-commerce businesses for financial gain. That's why cybersecurity professionals can use TLP to share information about emerging threats, attack patterns, and vulnerabilities. For example, if cybersecurity professionals in e-commerce capture a new phishing technique, they can share this information marked as green. On the other hand, if a specific e-commerce business is under a targeted attack, the organization may choose to share the details marked as amber with partners it trusts. But how does TLP actually make communication easier for cybersecurity professionals? Key Components of TLP all threats fall in a spectrum of four colors, white, green, amber, and red. White means least sensitive, while red is the most sensitive. Red. This is the highest level of sensitivity, reserved for information that, if disclosed, could have severe consequences. The info is restricted to a small, select group of individuals directly involved in incident response. Amber. This information is sensitive, but can be shared with a wider audience under certain conditions. Green. Green information is unclassified and can be shared freely within the community. White or clear. Information that is entirely unrestricted and can be shared publicly. How TLP works in practice. Just by looking at it, TLP allows cybersecurity professionals to determine the sensitivity of information and act accordingly. Red Alerts In the case of a severe cybersecurity incident, such as a critical data breach, information marked as red is restricted to a small group of people. Amber Alerts Information marked as amber may be shared more broadly, such as multiple people within the same team. Green Alerts Non-sensitive information that can be disseminated freely within the cybersecurity community. White Alerts information that is completely unrestricted and can be shared publicly. The Role of TLP in Incident Response When a cybersecurity incident occurs, time is of the essence. For instance, if your company experiences a data breach that could have severe consequences, the information is TLP red. This ensures that only individuals directly involved in the incident response have access to the most sensitive details. In cases where broader collaboration is necessary, such as when a new malware variant is detected, information may be classified as amber. This allows sharing with a wider audience, including trusted partners and relevant cybersecurity communities. Collaboration with public authorities. TLP makes communication between companies and law enforcement or government agencies easier. If your company cannot handle a given cybersecurity attack, you could share information classified as amber or red with public authorities. This is the case with cyber attacks indicating a potential threat to national security. By following these principles of TLP, you can navigate the complexities of incident response, collaborate with public authorities, and empower the e-commerce sector to collectively strengthen its defense. If you would like to know more about the intricate world of cybersecurity, don't be shy and smash that subscribe button. If this video was useful, don't forget to like it and watch another one on our channel.